You're watching Calabash Community as we continue our in-studio conversation with Shana Kipolit, the 2016 Bali Carnival Queen. This year, the contest was won by Ancillary. We begin this segment by focusing on her evening wear. Well, my chaperone and I, we, we came up with some nice ideas. My chaperone, Kate Popo. Mm -hmm. We came up with some nice ideas, but then we went to Miss Zenith. And she, she, she gave us a few ideas too. Because we were working with the theme and we were working with everything else. So she gave us some nice ideas. It was my effort, my chaperone, Miss Zenith, and so many persons in my community were involved in these things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so you had a time, you had a dress well in advance, you had time to fit and to oh, make yeah. sure everything you were comfortable yeah. with the dress and so on. So yeah. just give us a brief, and we have it on, on tape, a brief description of the dress and why you liked that particular dress. Well, I liked it because it, it hugged my body, it mm -hmm. complimented my body. It was nice, it was beautiful, the green complimented my, my hair style. Everything was just the way it was supposed to be. I made sure that I got a shoe that could match the, the beautiful sequins on my dress. You know, it was green and yellow. It had some yellow flowers, you know, to complement the nice, beautiful leaves in the valley. So, yeah. Okay, so you had a dress tied down. Um, you know, the next big thing is obviously the talent. Yeah. How did you decide what exactly is the talent you're going to put on, on the night? Okay, so for we were preparing that talent for the audition because mm. I thought the audition, we had to showcase our talent. Cause I had my talent on lock. Wow. Even at the audition. <laughs> Even at the audition. Wow. So, um, since we didn't do it at the audition, my chaperone was telling me, you know what, we should work on that. We should tweak it around a bit and let's just work with that. I was like, you sure? Because I was a little skeptical about everything. And she was like, yes, we're doing it. Just trust me. I'm like, okay, fine. I trust you. I put all my faith in her. And the, the good thing about it is she trusted me too. And she knew that I could deliver. So she got help. We got help from um, Nadej, you know, Nadej Charles. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was a past Calypsonian. Mm -hmm. So we got help from her and she was telling me, I had a little problem with the emotion because, you know, I, I hide my emotions in, mm -hmm. yes, a little too much. So she was telling me, just let yourself go. Relax, just let yourself go and sing, sing. So then we were working on that. We worked really, 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 really hard on my talent. And on the night, I just had to forget about everybody in the crowd, regardless of what anybody had to say, and just give. Because that's what I had to just give. I am alone and in a quandary. Mm -hmm. I feel betrayed and almost angry. Mm -hmm. But my time is drawing, yeah, and I must act without a fear, regardless of the consequence. On me, you keep a sentence. He will be born and he must grow. Delivering splendor here at this show. So on the night as you get ready for, for the show itself, when you come into the to the Mario school and everybody's settling down in their own little space and so on, you, mm -hmm. you have two things, well, a few things to worry about. Right. But I get two other key things would be, one would be the talent mm -hmm. and obviously the question and answer session as well. But let's talk about preparing, as you sat down there preparing, mm -hmm. which was preoccupying your mind the most? Mm -hmm. Were you thinking of the talent, trying to remember what exactly you're supposed to do, or were you actually thinking in advance of, you know, when I get to the question session, when we get to the results, what, 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 what exactly was preoccupying your mind as you got ready for the show? I'll be honest with you, as soon as I got there, from my home, I told myself I need to be humble. I'm not supposed to be thinking of anything. I'm supposed to be, as soon as it comes, that's when I take it on. I don't have to be preoccupying my mind with anything because that alone just breeds negative energy. I just had to relax. And the good thing about it is I spoke to my chaperone about it, being humble and all of that. And she, she has a similar personality with me, so she understood. What I did was as soon as I got there, I put some nice music in my ears and I was just relaxing until the show began. So what kind of songs were you listening to? Rap. <laughs> <laughs> Rap. Any particular artist? Eminem. I like Eminem. Any particular song? Um, one of the songs that says, um, 
His palms are sweaty, knees weak. Uh, it's kind of like a motivational song. Okay. So I listen to it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. So it started, and then obviously the swimsuit is, is first. Mm. At the time when that, when that, when when you were on stage, what were you, what were you thinking? Because you know everybody's watching at that point. Right. What was going through your mind when you're doing that section? That's where modeling pays off. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got on the stage, I know modeling is, I know pageantry, you're supposed to be nice, calm, and have a nice smile. But at the same time, you have to be fierce. You have to know when to transit, you know, from being nice and soft to model face. So as soon as I got on the stage, I was like, you know, <laughs> giving a nice smile but at the same time I was looking at the judges because mm -hmm. I know they are the most important people on the night and I was just giving off myself you know I was making myself really comfortable on the stage because I think that's the most important thing mm -hmm. making yourself relaxed yeah and as you came on for the the the, the, um, the, the, the dress um, mm -hmm. the evening wear and so on as you yeah. came for that um, do you have to be in a different mindset for that? What, 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 what are you most concerned about when you are doing the evening wear section? I think you have to, th it was a little challenging for mm. me, yeah, because you have to think soft and you have to think royalty. You <laughs> must always, yes, you, you, it's as if you must always be on your toes, you know, head high. My, my chaperone told me I must picture myself with a crown on my head so my chin could, mm -hmm. you know, stay up, yeah. It was a bit, but I managed. <laughs> yeah, of course, you did very extremely well <laughs> at the time. And obviously, the, the, the real big challenge uh, for every pageant is the interview. interview. <laughs> um, before I even ask you how that went, is it something that you think needs to be in the competition? I think it does because, I mean, it, it shows how, how much is in a woman. I mean, it doesn't have to just be beauty. Mm -hmm. You must know whether there is intelligence within that woman too. It's not all about being beautiful on the outside. You must have something in your brains. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think I think it's necessary. Now we know on the night, most persons who are participating in this competition, they normally can answer the questions right. in a real situation. Yeah. But some or the other, some people tend to freeze at that point. How do you get over that, avoiding that situation? I think it's all about you and the person that asked the question because on a regular basis if somebody asked me a question i would you know you would take your mm -hmm. time you'd think and then you would answer but on the night of the pageant itself what intimidates the contestants is the crowd mm -hmm. it's always the crowd because they think that's why it's good to just block block out every single person and i learned that from my chaperone and my other coaches they were telling me to just focus on the person asking you the question. Don't think about anybody else. Your question. How has your involvement in the arts prepared you to participate in this pageant? I will repeat. How has your involvement in the arts prepared you to participate in this pageant? I must admit that before this pageant and before performing arts that I suffered with low self-esteem, me being mature about myself and realizing that I need to become a better woman, I decided to join the arts and that's where I learned about self-confidence and self-discovery and being comfortable in your own skin. So being a part of performing arts I learned about being confident and self-discovery, etc. So, <laughs> those were the key elements in which I learned. Thank you. Yeah, and you, you, you survived that one as well. I like survived. Everybody else. Praise God. And then obviously now the next big um, expectation for you is the announcement of the results. Yes. Um, at what Jesus. point did you start to feel that there's a possibility that you could be wearing that crown tonight? Well, after my talent, after the swimwear mm -hmm. and my talent, I figured, you know what, I have that. 
I just have to continue, just relax, just go on and just give off what I have. When they were announcing the results, honestly, I was just, <laughs> I didn't know what to think. I seriously didn't know what to think because when they were calling second runner up, mm -hmm. you, you don't want to hear your name because you, you want to be crowned. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm standing there and when I heard they called me Sarat for first runner up, I was like, oh my God, because Miss Kaldisak is still there. And mm -hmm. I, I thought like, she, she was really good, you know, even at rehearsals and everything. I was like, oh my God, Kaling, Kaling is one of my, my major competitions. I'm supposed to be <laughs> looking out for her, you know? Yes. So when I, when they called Idel, I'm like, oh my God. And then they announced that I was the winner. Mm. Jesus Christ. I was so overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to think. I was just so excited. I took forever to sit on the chair because I was so ex I was extremely excited. Yeah. Did you hear anything anybody said to you after the announcement of the uh, other? No, no. No, I did not. Honestly, I know people I talking not. to you, but I could sense that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so now that you're the reading. Uh, queen uh, for the valley. Mm -hmm. um, what are your own ideas, your own plans? I know you have your own modeling, plus mm. you have plans of more pageants and so on. Yeah. But what do you do now? How do you capitalize on this opportunity to advance yourself? I don't want to think of just myself as a young woman because growth, growth, growth starts when you realize your potential and you want to see yourself grow. I just want to use that opportunity to influence the young persons in my community because usually they have potential but they stifle it. It's the same thing I used to do. I was stifling my potential. I just want them to know that it's okay, it's okay, it's fine to, to be expressive, to express yourself in different ways. Use pageantry, use sports, whatever you feel comfortable with. Just do it. So I'm going to use that experience to try to, you know, make persons in my community know that they're worth something, that they're worth more than they realize. So you're going to be acti actively and aggressively working on right. that for the next reign. But obviously you also have in your sights pageantry as well. Yeah. Um, and I suppose you'll be working towards that as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't want to share any plans with us as to how that's going to work out as yet. No. But then one step at a time. Just take it as it comes. I agree. All right. Well, Shanik, it's certainly a good uh, time mm -hmm. speaking with you. It was quite good to know a little bit more about the reigning queen for the <laughs> valley. And wish you all the success during the next uh, 12 months. Yeah. And look forward to engaging you again in when you get involved in future um, things like that. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Here. Yes, it was very nice being here. It's a pleasure. <laughs>